What's up everybody, Ninth Jim here back with another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Show competitive video. Today, we're talking about Sigilyph. This Pokemon is pretty cool. Its stats are not bad. Its typing is not great. However, it can live some attacks. We're still running Focus Sash because we don't live of a huge amount of our weakness attacks. A, a lot of uh, the super effective attacks are just going to kill us. Just Oko us. So, we're running Focus Sash to kind of mend that up. But... This Pokemon is pretty cool. It has access to a lot of really good support moves, really interesting stuff. It has like Gravity Hypnosis, it has Imprisoned Trick Room, it has just regular Trick Room. It has Screens. This Pokemon can really do a lot. We're running it fast and strong with Special Attack and Speed just to maximize out on damage output with our Psychic type attack. Our ability is interesting, not amazing, but not bad. And our typing is not great. I'll give it to you straight, Doctor. Our typing is not great. Without further ado, let's talk about it. So, Psychic, Flying, overall not the, not the greatest typing. Immunity to Ground, which is pretty good. Resistances to Grass Fighting and Psychic, which is pretty good. However, a lot of weaknesses. We have Electric, Ice, Rock, Ghost, and Dark all being a weakness. This is pretty unfortunate. All five are really prevalent typing, really good typings in general. And, yeah, you die to a lot of those attacks, um, which is very, like, you know, pretty unfortunate. I want to make sure I'm loud enough. I think I'm loud enough. Anyway, so overall typing, not amazing. Stats, not bad. Not amazing, but not bad. Leaves a little bit to desire. Um, so as far as HP and bulk goes, HP 72 is not amazing, but not bad. You're not going to be Dynamaxing this Pokemon. Uh, defense 80 and Special Defense 80 is not bad as well. Doing, you know, ke keeping up a little bit of defenses. If we hit with, uh, if we get hit with regular effective or resisted attacks, then we'll be able to live maybe a couple, which is good, but, you know, not an insane amount. Although, I will say, um, if this build is, like, if this is a correct, or, it, depending on the build, you can Dynamax this Pokemon. We have, I mean, we have Air Slash, so we have Max Airstream to kind of control speed, which is good. I just like a lot of its support moves, so if you Dynamax, you're just gonna have, like, three Max Guards, so that's why I don't like it, to Dynamax. But, depending on the build, you can Dynamax this, actually. Because it has a lot of good coverage moves, um, which we'll talk about a little bit more later. Um, as for now, the ability Magic Guard prevents all damage except from direct attack moves. So this is weird. Um, so it stops things like Weather, Entry Hazards, Status Ailments, and moves like Leech Seed that aren't like directed damage attacks that just like take, like sap a little bit of HP. It's weird. It's a weird ability. And I used to get this thing wrong, but now I know it. Now I get it. So that's kind of what you stop. It also stops life orb damage. So if you have life orb on this Pokemon, you don't take life orb damage, which is actually pretty cool, but not like super relevant. Anyway, that's about it for the overview. We'll go ahead and talk about the actual build itself. So as far as the build itself goes, you can see those synergies. Um, so we are going just as fast as damaging as possible. Although we are still running Focus Sash instead of Life Orb on this current build, you can run Life Orb instead. Like I said, you won't take damage from it, but there are a lot of moves that do Oko you, um, and a lot of Pokemon that just can Oko you in general. So I really like Focus Sash. I, I tend to gravitate towards you know living a little bit better. Um, just you know something I like to do is live. Um, so yeah, ability Magic Guard. It's his best ability. It, the other abilities, honestly, aren't that good. Like, so Magic Guard, you know, stopping a little bit of damage is not bad. It's fine. Ability, or uh, Item Focus Sash, like I was saying, I just value that survivability. You can go Life Orb, but I like that survivability. Into our moves, this is where you can really mess around with this Pokemon. You can run an insane amount of attacks. Like, all of them are good. There's so many support moves. There's so many uh, coverage moves. This Pokemon really, you know, the world is your... Sigilyph. Uh, that was dumb. Anyway, so moves. Psychic, Gravity Hypnosis, and Tailwind. So this is like the support set that I'm going with on this one. We have Gravity Hypnosis. If you don't know what Gravity does, it brings... Uh, so first off, it brings every guy that's like flying grounded. So this guy will now be on the ground, and they can hit it with, uh, with a ground attack. That's not why I use it, so I can get hit with ground attacks. That's not why I use it. I use it because... It gives you better accuracy, and it actually gives your opponent less evasiveness. It gives everybody less evasiveness, but if you run Hypnosis on this Pokemon, then you get a really good Hypnosis. So, essentially, gravity makes it so that you can hit uh, Hypnosis. Hypnosi. Hypnosi. That's pretty cool. I like it. I think it's good. It's a little goofy, but it's cool. 
Gravity Hypnosis is pretty neat. Um, we see this on some Pokemon like uh, the Orbeetle that I have right uh, right there. This guy right there. Bop. Uh, it's cool. And I'm actually, I want to mess around with a team with Orbeetle. And that's that's going to be one of one of my upcoming videos, definitely. Um, it's going to be an Orbeetle team. I like Orbeetle. I think it's cool. Um, so, yeah. Gravity Hypnosis. Makes sense. Tailwind giving us some speed, giving our whole team some speed. This Pokemon is actually very naturally fast. Hitting 163 with investments is like really fast. You, we outspeed a lot of things. You'll see in our in our upcoming slide of of uh, speed calcs or speed tiers. But Tailwind makes our whole team just faster. I just like Tailwind. I value that. It's a good move. Um, other than that, right above me, we have a lot of flex moves, a lot of moves. Uh, so first off, we have Air Slash. We have Energy Ball, Heat Wave, um, something else, something else. I can't think about it right now. But a lot of good coverage moves. You have a lot of special attack options. Our special attack is not bad. So you have a lot of options if you want to go attack heavy with this Pokemon. Like in, if you intend to maybe Dynamax it, you have a lot of um, moves that you can use potentially, which is good. We also got Roost, but this Pokemon, this build, our, this build currently doesn't really like want Roost. It doesn't really care for it. So yeah, we're not running Roost on this, but yeah other moves include trick room and prison like i was saying this is really good you know being able to really control the speed trick room and prison you have tailwind speed swap you can control the speed of the entire game with this pokemon however this pokemon is pretty frail and sometimes you'll just die it's actually not super frail but it's like frail enough to where it's like yeah you might die you know <laughs> you're not you're not going to be on the field for a long time if your opponent um values killing this pokemon at all which they should because if this pokemon just sits there for a while like i said it controls the speed of the game uh it has screen so it can uh choose you know how much damage gets put out it has trick it has thunder wave uh more speed control trick is just pretty good depending on your item if you're running focus sash probably not that great but it's an option you have choice items that you could uh trick around with and that's another option as well so yeah huge move pool very very deep move pool uh into our investments it's pretty you know self self-explanatory and basic it's just 252 in a special attack 252 in a speed it's tim in nature giving us plus speed minus attack just being as fast and damaging as possible it's pretty much all i want to do with this pokemon um and as well as be like so you want to be fast so that you can kind of control the game with uh, your weird support moves things like gravity hypnosis tailwind trick room prison speed swap screens so on and so forth this Pokemon has a really deep, uh, diverse move pool that lets you really do whatever you want with this Pokemon. It's pretty cool. And to our synergies, so I talked about Orbeetle a little bit. It can set gravity for you for free. You can set up Hypnosis. You don't even have to use gravity on this Pokemon. Then you can use something to control speed a little bit better. Running maybe Trick Room, maybe Imprison. Um, Trick Room, maybe Trick Room, Imprison. Speed Swap, whatever you, whatever you want to go for here. Um, but the Orbeetle can set gravity for free with its G-Max attack, which is pretty cool. Other than that, we have my low tick right there, right behind my head. And uh, this guy is pretty cool. It gets uh, Hypnosis. You don't have to rely on Coil for Hypnosis since you're going to be setting gravity. So that's pretty cool. It's also really tanky and um, good. It's a good Pokemon. Next, we have Gastron here. Gastron has great max moves. Max Quake, you know, really, really good. Um, it is ground so it resists electric so you can switch those out and you know keep your guys alive and potent pretty good uh that's really all about all i have for our synergies today so moving on we're gonna go to our speed to some speed tiers here all right so here we are right over there at i keep pointing the, the wrong way because it's inverted but sigilif 163 this boy's pretty fast. Outspeeds a lot of good Pokemon. Things like Mimikyu, which is a threat. It, you know, it just like Phantom Force kills you or Shadow Claw kills you or whatever. Uh, Max Phantasm just kills you. So Mimikyu is kind of scary. We outspeed it, which is good. We can set up something, you know, Gravity Hypnosis potentially. Um, other options. We have a lot of options. We can set stuff up before it kills us. Next, we have Arcanine and Ndidi Male, both outspeeding us uh, or outspeeding both of those. We are outspeeding them, which is pretty cool. Excadrill. Anything other than Sand Rush, ac activated Sand Rush, we outspeed every Excadrill, which is pretty cool. Form Changed Rotom, we outspeed unless it's Scarved. Duraludon, we outspeed unless it's Scarved. Are you seeing a trend here? We're pretty fast other than in, like Scarved and stuff, Pokemon. And just good Pokemon in general. There's a lot of fast boys, things that outspeed us that aren't. Scarf, 
Chlorophyll, Swift Swim, Unburden, stuff like that, include Charizard, Durant, Inteleon, Whimsicott, all those Pokemon just outspeed us naturally, which is very, very strong for those Pokemon. Not very strong for Sigilyph. That's about it for our speed tiers, actually. So we'll go ahead and jump into some damage calcs. So I'll move myself up after a couple of damage calcs. So first off, 52 plus special attacks. This is the most used spread for G Max Lapras. Uh, Max, res this is actually re Resonance, not Hellst Hellstorm, but it does guarantee Doko, which is unfortunate. Uh, focus Sash, boom. Wish I had a Sash. Um, my glass is cleaner. Focus sashed up. You know what I'm saying? Um, that was dumb. Uh, so, next we have Thunderbolt from a special attacking Rotom. A not very not very invested special attack Rotom, mind you. Only four special attack Rotom Wash Thunderbolt into our Sigilyph. Hits 87 to 103%. 12.5% chance to Oko. We have our Focus Sash. So, even if it max lightnings or nasty plots, we live in attack, which is really good. Um, you know how, how it be. Uh, Dynamaxed Excadrill Max Rockfall into our boy Sigilyph. Uh, hits 137 to 161%. Guaranteed Oko on that Dynamax boy. That's pretty unfortunate. That is also pretty unfortunate that it does that. Click on my face. Idiot. I'm an idiot. A idiot. Anyway, next we have Sigilyph Psychic into Assault Vest. Uh, pretty bulky with HP. Conkledor hitting 57 to 69%. Uh, that is the max amount we can really do. I mean, you can life orb, but it'll still guarantee two hit KO. So, you know, whatever. Uh, life orb doesn't matter too much there. Psychic into Venusaur, hitting 85 to 101 percent, uh, and a 12.5 chance to Oko. A lot of them are going to be running Focus Sash. Venusaurs are going to be running Focus Sash a lot of the time, either Focus Sash or Life Orb usually. And with Life Orb, we guaranteed Oko, which is good, or like have a really really high chance of Okoing is good but like i said if it's focus sash then that would suck if we like you know life orb and then can't even kill so well next we have incineroar darkest lariat into our sigilyph hitting 89 to 106 percent a 25 percent chance to oko this is pretty unfortunate um but it is what it is you know that it happens it happens um so yeah focus sash though we have focus sash last but not least we have single spotlight and why i just clicked on my face Rude app. I hate you, OBS. No, I'm kidding. You make all this happen. Anyway, Sigilyph. Single Spotlight. This Pokemon's not going to be played too much in singles. Still cool. Still good Pokemon. But not too prevalent in singles. You're not going to see it a whole lot. So, first off, we have Magic Guard, Life Orb. This one, we are running Life Orb, doing max damage we can. Um, being still timid, so we're still as fast as possible with doing that extra 1.3 times damage, which is pretty good. We have a good bit of moves here. Psychic, Air Slash, Heat Wave are two stab moves and then one coverage move. You can switch that out for Energy Ball. You can switch that out for maybe something else. I'm not sure. But it's pretty good. We also have Roost just to, uh, you know, come in, uh, come in on a, like, like a resisted hit. Not take too much damage. Maybe a neutral hit. Not take too much damage. Roost it up while they're switching. And then we're uh, back to, to full health. We can switch back in. Reposition. Get in a good position. This Pokemon is pretty cool. It's not great. It's pretty cool. Max invested into special attack and speed. Just like our other build. And yeah. That's about it for this boy. Uh, so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this kind of content. If you like Sigilyph. Like and subscribe. It means so much to me. Like and subscribe. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a good next six months. And of course, comment down below if you want to see anything in future videos. If you have any ideas, if you want to see any teams. Uh, I want to start a series where I play user subscriber teams. Thank you uh, to the guy that suggested that in the comments. It's a great idea. I want to do it. I'm going to copy that idea. Uh, I, though it's not really copying because you suggested it. But yes, I'm going to do that video. Or that series, maybe. I suck at doing series because I fall out of series. But... We'll see. Uh, so, yeah. Suggest teams. Suggest guys you want to see guides for. Maybe I'll start redoing guides that I did early guides for. Um, just because we're kind of run we're like running low on guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, But I would like to finish it. I have a list. So, if you want to see any guys, any guides for any Pokemon, comment it down below. If you want to see any teams that I play on probably Showdown, because my internet sucks, maybe on Sword and Shield, let me know. In the comments down below. 
and I'll do my best. Thank you so much for watching, and six-minute outro complete.